Hey guys, this is 06791201, and today I'm going to be showing you how to green screen or chroma key in Composite Lab. Okay, so to st start, you want to import your media. I already have, so I'm just going to go on. So you're going to click green, or whatever your clip is, and drag it onto your timeline. Like so. Okay, here we are. So once you have it on, you're going to click... Oh yeah, by the way, this isn't me. It's just a random photo I got off the internet. You're going to click Matt, then click Key under your video clip. And you're going to select Color Difference. What you might be thinking is, why don't I select Chroma Key, since that's what it's called. But I'll show you what it does. See, your um, green screen kind of sucks, because the Chroma Key isn't that great for it to work you need a near perfect background but I don't have that so I'm just going to get rid of chroma key ok so what you're going to do go to color difference and just adjust black and white point until you've virtually eliminated your background for this photo I'm going to use 41 white point and 0 black point see that's pretty good it's eliminating mostly all my background Okay, so once you've eliminated mostly all your background, you might find that there's this annoying green edge around your person or subject. So to get rid of that, you're going to go down and select Erode White. Okay, so as you can see, that like got rid of almost all the green, so I'm just going to give it a bit more distance. Okay, so that got rid of nearly all of the green, except for right here, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so now as you can see, the arm's pretty crappy and wiggly, so I'm going to fix that. So to fix that, you're going to go up, select Blur, and see that fixed it nearly right there. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, and now to import your background, um, you go back to Media, select whatever your background is. So for my case, it's a brick wall. So you want to drag it underneath your um, a video clip, you do not want to put it over, so I'm just going to put it under, okay, so as you can see, it might come out, your image might come out, or background might come out really small, so I'm just going to right click in the middle, and drag downward to fill up and cover up all the black. Oh, crud, oh, one second, just froze. Okay, here we go, um, um, it work, looks pretty well. So, that's all for now. Um, for my next video, I will probably be showing you how to turn someone invisible or kind of looks makes them look like water, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to turn someone invisible. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye.